Hello, welcome to another video of the complete Angular course. The focus of this video is to finish the login system. In the previous session, we added the features to create an account, log in, and reset the password. Now we add the feature to verify the user's email and detect when they log in or out of our app. To begin, we add some code to the authenticator component. Every time we successfully create an account, log in, or reset the password, the authenticator component still stays up. We want to remove it when any of the functions completes. Go to the authenticator component TypeScript file and import the math bottom sheet ref class from Angular Material. Then inject it in the constructor. With the bottom sheet ref object, we can close the bottom sheet. Go to the onComplete callback function of onReset click and remove the code inside. To close the bottom sheet, grab the bottom sheet ref object and call the dismiss method. We'll do the same for the other two functions. In the login click function, remove the code in the onComplete callback function and call the dismiss method. In on register click, remove the code and call the dismiss method as well. If we go to our app and use any of the three features, the bottom sheet will close if it was successful. If any of it fails, the bottom sheet will stay open and we can enter the information again. Now let's detect when the users log in and out of the site. Go to the app component TypeScript file and import the Firebase TSR class. Then create a Firebase TS alt object. We want to place the code to detect the login states in the app component because it's the entry point of the app. This way, we'll be able to direct and control users who enter the site from the start. The Firebase TS alt class contains a function called listen to sign in state changes. This function will attach a listener object to our app and it will listen to any changes made to the login state. Inside the parentheses, pass in the callback function for it to call when it gets triggered. The user argument represents the Firebase user object from Firebase authentication. We can use it to get some information about the user. If the user argument returns a value, it means the user has logged in. If it returns no, it means no user is logged in or they have logged out. But instead of using the if statement, the Firebase TS alt class contains another method called check sign in state. The method takes in the JSON object with up to five properties for five different callback functions. The first callback function is when sign in. It will get triggered if a user logs into the site. The second callback function is when signed out, which will get triggered if the user logs out of the site. The third and fourth callback functions are when signed in and email not verified. And when signed in and email verified. These functions will get triggered depending on if the user has their email verified when they logged in. And the last callback function is when changed, which will get triggered if any of the four states are triggered. Call the alert function in the sign in and sign out states.
print logged in when we log in and print logged out when we log out. If we go to the app on the browser, we get a pop-up message that says we're logged in. This is because we have logged in earlier and the session remains until you log out. Let's add the feature to log out. Go to the app component TypeScript file and define a function called logged in. This function will check if there is a user that is logged in. We can declare a boolean variable up top, set the value in the callback functions, and then return it. But the Firebase TS Auth class comes with a method called isSignIn, which does just that. Go to the app component HTML page, add another navigation item called logout, and attach a click event to it. Then use the ng if directive to hide or show the navigation items. For the login navigation item, we want to show it only if we're not logged in. For logout, we want to show it if we're logged in. Go to the app component TypeScript file and define the function for the click event. To log out, grab the Firebase TS Auth object and call the sign out method. If we run the app again, the logout button will show since we're logged in. If we click on the logout button, the login button will show and we'll get a different pop up. Now let's see how we can verify a user's email. Go to the app component TypeScript file and locate the win sign in and email not verify callback function. Every Firebase user has a property called email verified. It will return true if the email is verified. Having a verified email means that the user has access to the email. We can verify this by sending a verification email to the user's inbox and they have to click on a link that will set the email verified property to true. Open the terminal and create a new component called email verification. Run the ng-generate component command and place it in a directory called pages. Go to the email verification component HTML page. Remove the default code and then add a div element. Call it email verification. Inside the div element, add a header and a button element. For the button, use the matte flat button style and attach a click event to it. The purpose of the button is to resend the verification email to the user. Go to the email verification component CSS file and add a selector for email verification. Set the text align to center and margin top to 8M. Go to the TypeScript file and define the function for the click event. Import the Firebase TS Auth class and create a Firebase TS Auth object.
Inside the click event function, grab the Firebase TS out object and call the send verification email method. The method will send a verification email to the user that is logged in. Import the router class from Angular Router and inject it inside the constructor. Go into the ng on the nif function and use the Firebase TS out object to check if there's a user that's logged in with their email not verified. If yes, send a verification email. If not, send them back to the home page by grabbing the router object and calling the navigate function. We want to do this because we do not want people to just come to this page when they are not logged in or have their email verified already. Go to the app routing module and add a route to the email verification page. For the path, use email verification. And for the component, use email verification component. Go to the app component TypeScript file. Import the router class and inject it in the constructor as well. In the when sign in and email not verified callback function, call the navigate function from the router object and go to the email verification page. Lastly, remove the alert statements in the sign in and now callback functions. If we run the app and log in, we will be directed to the email verification page since we have not verified our email yet. If we go to our inbox, we will see a no reply email to verify our email. Click on it and then click on the link. Go back to our website and refresh the page. As you can see, we are directed back to the home page since we have successfully verified our email. That's all for this video. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe to support the channel. In the next video, we learn how to create the user profiles by uploading and retrieving data in the Firebase Firestore database. If you have questions, leave a comment. See you in the next video.